This is the 72nd E-mount lens from Sony, the FE 24 to 50 millimeter F 2.8G. I had the opportunity to spend a few weeks with this lens and there's a lot to talk about, but to get things started, let's talk about the specs. For starters, this lens is an FE lens, which if you see that in any Sony lens listing and you aren't sure what it means, it stands for full frame E-mount. So with that, the lens is a full frame compatible lens. Inside, there's an 11 blade circular aperture that can give you beautiful looking bokeh for your stills and video work. It also has 16 elements in 13 groups, including four as spherical lenses, which help to minimize aberrations and two extra low dispersion glass, which helps to suppress chromatic aberrations. The front element, by the way, has a fluorine coating that helps to repel things like fingerprints, water, dust, and oil. One of the things that makes a big difference in a modern lens like this compared to older DSLR lenses is the inclusion of two linear motors. These motors help to move all of the optics inside to maintain pinpoint accuracy with autofocus. This lens can even keep up with the new Alpha 9.3's insane 120 frames per second burst rate for stills, and it's even fast enough to keep up with a moving subject when you're shooting video at 4K 120p. Those linear motors are not only fast, but very quiet, so you could feel confident using it for your video work. On the lens itself, you'll find an aperture ring and an aperture click switch, a zoom and focus ring, a customizable focus hold switch, and an autofocus and manual focus switch. It's dust and moisture resistant. It takes 67 millimeter filters and it weighs in at 440 grams or 15.6 ounces. Another thing that I found interesting with this lens was its close up capabilities. You can get very close to your subjects at either 24 or 50 millimeters using autofocus. And you could even get a tiny bit closer if you focus manually. With the specs out of the way, let's talk about performance. I tested the lens out at my studio to see how it performed in terms of focus breathing, and it does an excellent job there. Here are some examples with and without focus breathing compensation turned on to give you an idea of what you could expect. Now, because this lens was developed in-house at Sony, they've optimized this performance with their camera bodies. This means that you're getting outstanding reliability and autofocus performance, and it even supports the active mode stabilization feature that's available on some of the newer Sony Alpha camera bodies. If you're a prime lens shooter, then you might be like me and recognize that this lens covers three focal lengths that are super popular for stills and video work. For me, that's 24 millimeter, 35 millimeter and the 50 millimeter focal length. An argument could be made that maybe 40 millimeter is better than 35 millimeter. I personally have two different primes that I use with each of those focal lengths and I tend to use the 35 millimeter a little bit more, but I'd love to hear which one you personally use down in the comment section. As has been the case with Sony lenses, they've managed to include excellent optics top-notch autofocus performance and operability, all within a compact, lightweight lens design that will inspire you to take it out and take it with you everywhere. I, for one, am really excited to use this as one of my everyday walk-around lenses for my everyday walk-around camera body, which is the Alpha 7CR. If you're not familiar with that camera and the video I made about it, I'll have it linked in the card above. After using this lens for a few weeks, I think you'll love it if you need a versatile, lightweight zoom lens. But let me know if you have any questions about it in the comments section, and make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on everything that is happening in the Alpha universe. I can't wait to see you in the next video, but in the meantime, Check out the videos that you see here on screen, and I'll see you soon.